Hey guys, what's up? This is 8-Bit Eric. You guys have been asking for it. A room tour. I was supposed to do this at 20,000 subscribers. I'm almost at 22,000. So, thanks a lot for the patience and waiting. Promise you this is going to be well worth it. I took my time making this and yeah, so enjoy. And thanks a lot everybody. Here's to the next 20k. All right, so up top above my collection is all of my random boxes. Most of these are empty. Some of them do have stuff in it, like the Super Scope 6 box and the Genesis Plug and Play, the Monopoly Nintendo version, the Super Mario Chess. Some of these do have stuff, but this is basically where I just throw crap that I have no room for it, to be honest. Yeah. So this is the first shelf of the game room, bedroom slash room that I have sex with Jay's mom. Now, I have a mixture of NES and Super Nintendo cartridges on here because my Super Nintendo games are kind of in a weird place. They're all over the shelves because there's I ran out of space, all right? So, right here, we're gonna look at some of the Super Nintendo titles that kind of catch my groove, if you know what I mean. Tetris and Dr. Mario on the SNES, great double cart, very good. I like it a lot. Disney's Aladdin is another SNES game that I feel is underrated. We got Super Punch-Out, another great one. Mario All-Stars, Castlevania 4. Uh, if I pull them all out one at a time, we'll be here all fucking day. And that's not what she said. Um, let's see, Link to the Past, of course. Super Godzilla, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, that's my game. Uh, Magical Quest, Final Fight, King of the Monsters. UN Squadron, Home Alone, Super R-Type. One of my favorites on the Super Nintendo. For Sheezy. So yeah, a good little mixture of Super Nintendo and NES titles. Just because my Super Nintendo stuff is out of the way. I'm going to move these real quick. Hopefully I don't drop everything and show you some of the NES titles that capture my eye. That, that I think are you know good ones to name in the collection. And I'll show some zoom in shots and all that. But I'll probably have an NES video later on, so I'm not going to be too elaborative on this. Alright guys, so I have my NES shelf alphabetical. First game that captures any kind of notoriety in my collection is Action 52. I got this at Con Bravo for about 140 bucks US dollars. So for a Action 52, that's actually pretty affordable. Um, yeah, it has a crack right here, but other than that, very good shape and you know if you don't know about action 52 by now um yeah you probably been living underneath a rock or iraq 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 i don't know we got baby boomer got this one at classic game junkie in philadelphia horrible game but still cool uh this one right here is a i guess a bootleg just think it's pretty cool that it's like a weird gray cartridge and it has like a little space thing and all that, but it's based off of an actual Famicom game that just slips my head at the time. Um, okay, you got Baseball Stars, all your baseball games. You got Battletoads and Double Dragon. Yeah, the game I got caught slipping on in Roswell, but eventually I got my own copy. Deshibid in El Beast, or otherwise known as Beauty in the Beast. I got this from Thanos, who is one of my Patreons. He uh, donated it to me. That was very nice. We got Best of the Best Championship Karate. A pretty fantastic game. Bible Adventures. This game is actually a, a hack of a game called Binary Land. It's called Binary Land. It's uh, Billy and Jay in Binary Land. Has the Game Chasers. The Alpha Mega Sin as the villain, which kind of weird. I'm the bad guy. I'm just joking, but it's pretty cool. It's cool, not bad. Uh, Boy and His Blob, a classic. 
Bucky O'Hare, if you haven't seen my review on Final Bosses, check it out. Fantastic fucking game. Uh, Bump and Jump, I always love that one. Burger Time. California Games, classic to play with friends. Now on this shelf, I also have Super Nintendo NES stuff mixed together for the same reason. I also have this Mario doll. This is the one that used to be on all my episodes. He talks. I haven't used him as my sidekick. That's because too many guys have the whole, you know, talking sidekick animated, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And yeah, so I decided to move away from that. But I got this on the third episode of Game Chasers at the flea market. So yeah, classic 8-bit air toy. Um, Game Genie, Super Nintendo, you gotta have it. This is the Retro Duo. Bleh. This is the Retro Duo Portables NES port. You just put it in. You can play NES games. Now, a couple of these. Doom on the SNES, a classic. We got Art of Fighting, another SNK port that I enjoy. Earthbound, my rarest SNES game or most expensive. I still don't think that game is as rare as people say. Um, Final Fight 2, got this for like four bucks at a pawn shop. Yeah, at a pawn shop. Uh, Home Alone 2, great one. Indiana Jones, Classic Adventures. Robocop vs. The Terminator. You know, a handful of decent Super Nintendo titles. Now let's move on to some of the NES games that I have on here. You got the Game Genie. I know there's two different versions of that. I'm not sure if that's the first. I think that's the first one. All right, so we got Captain America and the Avengers. Great game, kind of. I mean, it's, I like it. Uh, Captain Planet, you got the Castlevania series. Chiller, another obscure light gun NES game. Uh, you know, scary, ooh, you know, kind of weird, you know, grotesque imagery for an NES game. Kind of boring. Clash of Demon Head, this is a game that I played a lot growing up. Uh, loved it very much. Color Dinosaur, shitty ass game, got it for 15 bucks. It commands a pretty hefty price nowadays. Uh, Contra Crystallis, this is an RPG game that I've had a lot of fun playing growing up. It's one of my favorites. Darkwing Duck, a classic Capcom Disney game. Um, we got Death Race, another one of those weird bootleg games. It's worth the look. Uh, we got the Double Dragon series, pure classic. We got um, what's this? Double Strike, didn't even know I had that one. Dr. Jekyll and Hyde, Dragon Power, Dragon Warriors. DuckTales, classic. We got Dusty Diamonds, All-Star Softball. Got this for $5.99 at a CD exchange. It's a lot more than that. I got a reproduction cart of Earthbound Zero. Very good game, Earthbound Zero. I got it when it wasn't out on the Wii U yet, so, you know, I, that was my only option. We also got the Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. Underrated NES game. I'm not going to lie. Felix the Cat, another underrated NES game. Look out for a review soon. I will be reviewing that on Final Bosses. I got this boxed Game Boy that my friend Edwin Ocasio hooked me up with. It is technically, you know, not complete, but there's a Game Boy with some of the manuals and the styrofoam and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty nice to have. The box is in fantastic fucking shape. The third shelf of NES games. Let's go ahead and show you which ones catch my eyes. Friday 13th, pure classic. We got Gargoyles Twist. Bleh. Gargoyles Quest 2. Bought this from Pat the NES Punk actually at Retropalooza 2. Um, we got Gen Fire, another NES game that's pretty uncommon and it's up there in price. Ghoul School, Goal 1 and 2, Godzilla 1 and 2. A couple of uncommon games there. Um, Gradius, and I have a Pirate Cart of Gradius as well, which is kind of cool. Gremlins 2, another underrated NES game that's actually pretty easy to find. We got Gunsmoke, another game that I think needs a lot more credit on the NES. High Speed, based on the awesome pinball machine. Uh, we got Hook, we got, let's see, Ice Hockey, great game. Jackal, underrated NES game and it's very cheap to get so I highly recommend it. We also have Jungle Book, Uncommon Game. Um, let's see, we got Kickle Cubicle and Kid Icarus, two other ones of my favorite. Of course, Kirby. All right, crisscross applesauce, getting down to the bottom. Now we got a few in the K's that are actually pretty worthy. K1, 
Okay, we got Kung Fu Heroes. Very good game. I got a reproduction cart of Labyrinth. I reviewed it on FinalBosses.com. If you haven't seen it, I also have, of course, Legend of Zelda. And I have a repro of uh, Zelda Outlands, which is, a, I guess, a hack of the original Zelda. Um, we got Little Mermaid, one of my most guilty pleasures of all time. Uh, if you haven't played this game, you're missing out. Little Ninja Brothers, Lone Ranger. Uh, let's see, we got another reproduction cart. This one, or a, I guess a bootleg of Mag Max. This one actually says the title, and it's not in Japanese, but plays exactly like it, and I got the actual Mag Max next to it. Uh, Mario Brothers, Mario's Missing. We got the Maxi 15. I did a review of this a few years ago. I might revisit it pretty soon. Pretty uncommon game. We got Mega Man 2, 3, and 6. I need the other ones. We got Metal Gear. Uh, I have Metal Storm. This game has gone up in pretty big price. Of course, you got Mighty Final Fight. I got this in Canada a couple years ago when I made my redemption on the Battletoads Double Dragon. Uh, Monster Party. Monsters in My Pocket. I reviewed this a couple Halloweens ago. Very good game. I have a reproduction card with Mr. Gimmick. If you haven't seen my Final Bosses review, highly recommend it. Um, we got Ghostbusters 2 reproduction card, the new Ghostbusters 2. That one is pretty good. We got the Ninja Gaiden series, Ninja Crusaders, a underrated NES game in my opinion. All right, now we're on the bottom shelf. This one is three rows as opposed to two like the other ones. And yeah, so I got North and South which is a game that was given to me by Video Game Cavern in South Carolina. Appreciate it. That's uncommon. I got a few Pac-Man variants. Got a reproduction cart of Panic Restaurant. This is like my most wanted game. Probably as close to owning the game as I'm ever going to get. Uh, Pinball, classic. Power Punch 2, another classic. Kind of uncommon. Uh, Punisher. Classic favorite of mine, Kabuki Quantum Fighter. I think it's underrated. Uh, I got the Quattro, all three of the Quattro games here. All the RBI baseballs. Um, here's a fun one, Remote Control. Underrated, great party game. Highly recommend it if you're playing with friends. Uh, let's go down to the R's. We got River City Ransom. Old favorite of many, of course. Robocop 1 and 2. Roller Games, I think Roller Games. It's a very great game. I reviewed it a few years ago. Look it up if you didn't see the review. Scat, another game that I got in Philly. Very uncommon, very hard to get, and yes, all jokes aside. Scat, everybody knows we're gonna joke about it. Secret Scout, another one that I got. Very expensive, uncommon game. Shadow of the Ninja, just reviewed this a couple weeks ago on finalbosses.com. Very, very, very underrated game. Shockwave, another in common. Silver Surfer, everybody knows that game's tough as shit. We got the S's down below. Let's see. I got Die Smurf, the Smurfs. It's a PAL game. Snake's Revenge. Um, Spiritual Warfare. Zelda clone that I reviewed a long time ago. It's a Bible game. We got a reproduction cart of Splatterhouse from the Famicom. I got Stack Up, another uncommon game. Got this at Portland Retro Gaming Expo a few years ago. Stinger, Super C, Super Mario Brothers variant, Super Mario Brothers 2 and 3. I also got a, a homebrew hack, Super Mario Evolution. It's where you play as Yoshi in the Super Mario Brothers world. It's pretty tough. All right, so that's it for this shelf. Let's move on to the next one. All right guys, so this shelf has NES and has a retro mixture of Odyssey 2 and Sega Master System, Sega Genesis and Atari games. All I want, I got some toys, then I got a Master System section and some more plushies and random stuff. So yeah, this is gonna be a pretty interesting shelf. Let's take a look. Alrighty guys, so the top shelf is NES only. I have something really cool though for uh, my birthday. Kristen got me this Drunk Hunt little flask. Yeah, it's one of those flasks where you pop it open, 
you drink your favorite beverage. I haven't gotten to use it yet. Might use it pretty soon. All right, so I got my T's and my W's and U's and XYZ's, the weird place of the games where it's kind of, there's not too many of those letters, but there's some good classics in here, of course. So you got, you know, Teensy Surf Designs, which is one of my favorites, and Thriller Safari. Tag Team Wrestling, which I believe is an underrated NES wrestling game. Tailspin, Tecmo Bowl, oh my god, do I love me some Tecmo Bowl. You gotta love that game. The Ninja Turtles series, Manhattan Project though, Manhattan Project though, my favorite one. Tennis, you also got Tetris, I got both the Nintendo brand and the uh, Tengen brand, which is kind of a little uncommon, it was one of my most wanted, so I'm glad I got it. Tiny Toon Adventures, another classic game that I reviewed years ago, if you want to check it out. I also got Tubing, Top Gun, Totally Rad, Touchdown Fever, um, Twin Cobra, another good one, Vice Project Doom. Another underrated NES classic. All the wrestling games. I got a bad copy of Wally Bear and the No Gang. Like, whoa, it's so bad my hand doesn't even want to hold it. But look at that. Um, Wampum, another NES title that you need to be on the lookout for for me to review. As well as Widget. Remember this cartoon? I do. Uh, you got, of course, Fabio, Wizards and Warriors. I got my uh, Wrecking Crew, X's or Zex's, Xanic, and you got the Zen, the Intergalactic Ninja, uncommon game. And of course, Zelda 2, you know, Yoshi, Yoshi's Cookie, Yonoid, a horribly good game. All right, so let's move down to the bottom. All right, guys, so this is my like miscellaneous shelf. I got a Club Nintendo figurine from a few years ago. Put it over there. Got little toys like bob -Bombs. I got the McDonald's Mario Kart toys. A couple of figurines like this one. Um, just all sorts of random shit. This I got like in 2003 and I have not opened. It used to be gummies inside, but now it's like one huge brown thing, which I'm tempted to try to eat on camera one day. Um, I got a plethora of Odyssey 2 games. I love the Odyssey 2. Um, the handles on the games are just so awesome. Um, you just gotta, you know, see these games to believe it. They're so vintage. Um, some loose Master System games. Some of these are pretty good titles like Enduro Racer, Rambo. I got some loose Genesis, Home Alone, Genesis 3, the six pack, Super Thunder Blade, Sonic, Revolution X. I've got some random Intellivision games, some random Atari. Smurf, Miss Pac-Man, you know, E.T., Star Wars, some good ones. I got a loose Sonic the Hedgehog on the Master System. A lot of sports Sega games that I get free at Game Over because they give free football games out when season starts and stuff like that. Um, Sonic and Knuckles, just a real random, you know, shelf. Nothing too fancy, I guess. Now we get to another kind of miscellaneous shelf. I got some plushies, a boo plush, Trigger Happy from Skylanders, a bob -omb with chicken legs. Um, I got a Mario ball, a couple Mario energy drinks. I drank one, I have one unopened still. Plan to be doing a review on it actually. Um, some open, unopened Skylander Spiros Adventures that I bought a long time ago when I was in my Skylanders phase. Um, Wham Shell was the hardest one for a long time to find. A Walmart exclusive drill sergeant um, and a legendary trigger happy, which was pretty common. I got a Ocarina of Time soundtrack CD. Uh, I have a Link plush, and for some reason I have random headphones right here. And this is my Master System collection that I actually, I guess, got from my brother since he kind of just gave it to me. Um, got a good number of games in here. I got. Uh, Alex Kidd and Shinobi World, pretty uncommon game. King's Quest, a game that I grew up with. Castle of Illusion starred Mickey Mouse. Um, Shinobi, another game. A lot of these I grew up with because believe it or not, the Master System was my first console that I ever played. Time Soldiers, The Ninja. This is the first video game I ever played. So people that think I'm a Nintendo fanboy, 
Sorry, I started with this. Um, Walter Payton football, a game that me and my brother played for hours. Wonder Boy and Monster Land, classic that I go back to. Um, we got Ghostbusters, a little bit better of a game than the NES one. Pro Wrestling, another great Master System game. Uh, Raston, man, this damn game won't go back in. There it goes. Raston is another one that I like. Altered Beast. Astro Warrior, Choplifter, Double Dragon. I like this one because you can actually play with two people. Uh, Govelius is a game that I am actually going to review soon. It's kind of like a Zelda clone. It's not too bad. Vigilante, Paperboy, and yeah, so good Master System game collection right here. Alright guys, so this is my Sega Genesis shelf. And actually, once again, these were most of my brother's games when he was younger and then he kind of gave them to me. The prize package of the whole collection, Musha. Very expensive game. Uh, I got Super WrestleMania. It's a bad one. Bell's Quest. I kind of like these Disney games on the Genesis. They've always been pretty good. Uh, Rocket Knight Adventures. Easily in my top 20 games of all time, including Nintendo game. Golden and Ghost, I think, is a vast superior version on the Sega Genesis. Um, I got this weird version of Sonic the Hedgehog when we were younger. Uh, Moonwalker, one of my favorite games of all time, top 10 overall. Uh, Thunder Force 3, probably my most famous favorite shoot 'em up like ever. Thunder Force 3. We got Castle of Illusion. I think this is one of the best Sega Genesis games of all time. A lot of these are the older titles, guys, like Forgotten Worlds. That's a pretty good arcade port onto the Genesis. Phileos, another pretty, pretty good shoot 'em up that nobody ever talks about. I'm going to be reviewing this pretty soon. Shaq Fu, you know, everybody knows that. I got a Mega Drive game right here. Wrestle War has Hogan on it. It's pretty cool. Echo the Dolphin, Song 2, Beavis and Butthead, one of my favorite games of all time, actually. Uh, and then Quack Shot, another Disney classic on the Genesis. So yeah, and then I have more Genesis games on the next shelf that I'll get to. Um, and then the bottom shelf is just random toys and Mario paraphernalia that I found and that people have given me. So yeah, nothing too special there. All right, so this is the final shelf. This has a lot of stuff on it. Super Nintendo, 3DS, Game Boy, Game Gear, GameCube, Famicom, Vic 20, and television. Almost all the ra this is like my random miscellaneous shell. So let's let's go ahead and take a look. Alrighty muchachos, so I'm going to knock some of the easy shit out of the way. I got a little stack right here of Famicom games. They're random assortment, Dragon Ball Z, Sima Earth. Uh, I have no idea what the other two are, but they look pretty cool. Super Famicom games work on the Retron 5, so I've been getting more of these. Super Retro Adapter, it came with the Retro Duo Portable, as well as this Retro Gen, which lets you play Genesis games on your Super Nintendo. I can get it to work ever. I also have a Famicom cartridge converter that I no longer really need, but it was cool to have when I didn't have the Retron. Uh, I have a complete in box Home Alone 2. Didn't have any space on this shelf to put with the rest of my stuff. Um, this cool custom made Game Boy Advance from 8-Bit Evolution that I actually reviewed a, about a year ago actually. It looks pretty cool, has a cool custom paint job, and it looks really nice when you turn it on and play it. Like, the screen is perfect. Look at that. Very nice system. I uh, highly recommend you guys totally uh, check their website out. It's a very quality made. Um, got a box light boy. Who remembers this shit? Putting it on their Game Boy. Uh, box cleaning kit for the NES. And I have a box Dragon Warrior. Great fucking game. Hasn't aged well, but still pretty cool to have boxed. I have more SNES right here. Uh, some of these are actually pretty good hits. Of course, you know, you got your Super Mario World. Um, you got your Super Golden Ghost. Another classic. A Mega Man X2. Fucking phenomenal. 
Uh, you got Saturday Night Slam Masters, one of my favorite SNES games of all time. Act Razor, Star Fox, Mortal Kombat 2, uh, Power Rangers Fighting Edition, Fighting Edition, Turtles in Time. So yeah, I got some good heavy hitters here. Now behind that, I got some of my box games collection, which I'm gonna show with you. And on top of that, I have some Famicom games. So let's go ahead and get this some bitch started. All right, guys. So I got some random Big 20 titles right here. These things you don't run into often. The Commodore Big 20 is a very primitive system. I got a box Game Shark. That's nice. I got a couple. CD-based floppy games there, some box Super Famicom games that are all, you know, just totally awesome looking. Look, there's a cool wrestling game called Hybrid Wrestler that lets play on it. This is a Super 4-in-1 cart that I got from uh, Pico Interactive. It's pretty cool. I got a box for Final Fantasy 3. Do not have the cartridge. I have everything else for it. So if anybody has a Final Fantasy 3 that they're willing to sacrifice with and contribute to me, I love you very much. I have a complete box Mario's Time Machine that Jason Lambert hooked me up with. Very good. Who doesn't have a box F-Zero? I got a box Super Godzilla. Great game. Not. But it was still cool to have it. Hold on. There we go. Box Wave Race, Box WWF Attitude, WrestleMania 2000. This right here I ordered from Time Walk Games. They're no longer around, but it's a complete in box Sweet Home reproduction cart, and it's red. It's actually pretty cool. This is a early survival horror game that did not come out in the United States. Right next to it, I got the infamous Cheetah Man 2 The Lost Levels, complete in box. We all know what happened with that. People running their dick suckers. I enjoy it. Box WrestleMania on the NES. A box Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario 3, Super Dodgeball box, um, Track and Field, Dance Aerobics, and Great Waldo Search. Now up here is my Famicom collection. Got quite a few. This right here is Lickel, which is actually the Japanese Little Samson, and it's going for a high price now. It's increasing. When I bought it, it was only 80 bucks. I got a complete in box Famicom Wizardry. A complete in box Hector 87. I have a, a pretty fair amount of Famicom games. I got Donkey Kong Jr. Math that was given to me. Um, let's see. I got, I believe, yeah, Choplifter. This didn't come out in the United States on the NES. That's cool that Choplifter was, was on the Famicom. Um, I got Devil World on the Famicom. Let's see. I got a pretty strange. Ronald McDonald game. This isn't McKids. This is actually a game where you play as Ronald McDonald. So that's kind of cool. Um, got some pirate carts. A couple of these. I got one that actually has an 8-bit Street Fighter 2 on it. That's pretty unique. Um, I got Chubby Cherub. The Famicom version. Another NES game that's kind of uncommon to get, but easier for the Famicom version. Got a couple of the fantasy, Final Fantasy games that did not come over here. Uh, so yeah, you know, Asmic World. Pretty cool little decent collection. All right guys, so on this shelf, I have my N64 collection, a handful of PS Vita games I just recently got, some candy knickknacks. These things are kind of just like little, little, you know, trinkets that I have on there. A cool little Zelda jar that I got from Arcade Block. Um, PS1 collection, one Game Boy box game, and some 3DS games. So this is kind of like a, you know, not too bad of a, uh, of a shell. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the Nintendo 64 games. Now it's going to be kind of hard to show since, you know, the labels aren't on the sides. But Killer Instinct Gold, I'm just going to dig through and see which ones catch my eye. GoldenEye, one that I played with friends all the time. Growing up, that was like the game. Let's see, what else do we got in here? Tons of sports games. WCW NWO Revenge, another game that I spent many hours with my friends. NFL Blitz, classic. You got uh, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire, one of the earliest Nintendo 64 games I ever got. Had a fucking blast with it. Of course, you know, you got Majora's Mask, 
the hologram collector's edition. Fucking phenomenal game. I know I have Ocarina of Time in here somewhere. All the wrestling games, um, No Mercy, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I have Donkey Kong Country 64 or Donkey Kong 64, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Cruising USA, <laughs> Elmo's El Number Journey, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, here it is. My favorite N64 game of all, uh, favorite game of all time, actually. All right, so the PS1. I am kind of a a PS1 fanatic. I don't have too big of a collection, but I have some some weird PS1 games like the ET one. I like to collect all the anthologies of all the arcade hits. Um, Twisted Metal, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid. Of course, you know. Let me show you one of my prized possessions of my collection, actually, and it is a copy of WCW. But it's not just any copy. Let me grab it. It is a autographed. I don't know if you can see it. Let me. Keep the joking gamer autographed game with a penis drawn on it. And yeah, um, this is actually probably one of my most prized possessions in my collection because uh, he was such a great friend and he really was honored to. Uh, to autograph this for me. Um, so, I'll always have a piece of my friend here. And this, if my collection was to be fired, like set on fire or stolen, this would be the first thing that I would hope wouldn't be damaged or taken away from me. You got Final Fantasy VII, of course. Classic game, Final Fantasy VIII. Um, yeah, so Final Fantasy VII. Mine's weird though, cause like it's black up here, and then it has the greatest hits down there. So I guess it's not the correct packaging. I don't know. Uh, Final Fantasy Chronicles, Crash Bandicoot Warped, um, Jedi Power Battle. So a good little thing. Uh, I got a random Game Boy game boxed here. WWF Raw. Um, got some good 3DS games. I got a variant actually of Ocarina of Time. It's from the United Arab. Emirates, but I think it plays here. Um, Luigi's Mansion 2, Tekken 3DS, Link Between Worlds, my favorite 3DS game of all of them. Um, I'm, I used to be into 3DS, I haven't played it in a while because I have a, an old 3DS. The, the old ones are tiny, so I haven't really played it much, but yeah, so this shelf, you know, good assortment of games. All right guys, so we're on this shelf. This is my stuff. Plush Pac-Man, love him very much. Got him actually on the way to too many games. He was given to me by, I believe, uh, a subscriber of mine. I think it was Joe Grotesque. Do not quote me if I'm wrong. He also gave me this Pac-Man LCD. Pac-Man's wonderful. Here's a Nomad that I actually got at SGC a couple years ago for 30 bucks. Uh, a couple of beat arts that were given to me. Random headphones again. Um, some Burn Dreamcast games. Those are always great. Some some Genesis, Mortal Kombat 3, Robotnik, Batman Forever. Uh, getting into my GameCube selection. These are doubles in here that actually that I'm trying to sell pretty soon. Alright, so yeah, the GameCube. I got a lot. I got Luigi's Mansion. It's a classic. Got, you know, day one was when I bought it. Beautiful Joe. Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube. Classic. Uh, F-Zero GX, another favorite of mine. Very good game. Uh, Star Wars Rebel Strike. Let's see, got uh, Dragon Ball's Budokai Sagas, meh. The Metroid Prime 1 and 2. Uh, I also got The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Favorite game on the GameCube collection because I pre-ordered it. I got this free. Um, my second favorite game on the GameCube, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We also got uh, Resident Evil. The Resident Evil games on the GameCube were pretty amazing. I also got Simpsons Hidden Run, Crazy Taxi, one of my favorite Sega games ever. Um, I said it was tricky. Star Fox Adventures, I think people hate on this way too much. I love that game. Smash Brothers, of course, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, uh, 
And then I have the special Ocarina of Time GameCube game. So yeah, you know, decent little thing. Def Jam Vendetta, another great one. Love the GameCube. All right guys, so we're on this shelf. This is another weird miscellaneous shelf. And here I have a mixture of all of my handheld games, all of my Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, you know, knickknacks. Not gonna go through it. I got some handhelds here, FC Mobile 2. I got a couple of Game Boy SPs. I got a Target Game Boy Advanced right here. Those are kind of hard to find. Got some Club Nintendo Platinum Poker Cards. I got my, this is my measly Sega Saturn collection right here. And I got a sealed VIC-20 game, yeah. Commodore VIC-20. Some Genesis games here, Primal Rage. One of my favorites. People hate it, but I like it. Jurassic Park, Fantasy Star 2. Very, very unrecognized RPG. It influenced a lot of people when this series came out. Um, Jurassic Park, another classic. Battletoad, Double Dragon. You got Tasmania, Sonic Spinball, and Ranger X, which I believe is a very underrated title on the Genesis. Of course, I got some boxed and television games here. You know, sports games, nothing too special. All right, now crisscross applesauce on the ground. Fucking Q-tip, what the fuck? All right, so this is a toy that I've had since I was like really young. It's a Ninja Turtle action figure. I don't know where his belt went, but I like it. He looks good. Got the Club Nintendo box from the thing. I got some strategy guides. This is a very good bulk right here. Brett Weiss's top 100 console games. I also got the SMS Encyclopedia, various Nintendo Powers, EGMs, Game Informers, Strategy Guides, you name it. I got all sorts of different eras of Nintendo Power in here. It's not organized as it could be, but you know, I think it's a decent collection of magazines right there. It's my library. And right here is all of my passes from all of the conventions that I've been blessed to go to. There's a couple of things like a GameStop employee um, tag that I had because I worked there for like a week and a half a few years ago, don't ask. Um, also a couple other conventions, but yeah, um, you got, you know, different passes. It's always great going to these conventions, love meeting people, it's fucking phenomenal. It's one of my favorite things to do about YouTube. All right, so up top above my collection is all of my random boxes, most of these are empty. Some of them do have stuff in it, like the Super Scope 6 box and the Genesis plug and play, the Monopoly Nintendo version, the Super Mario Chess. Some of these do have stuff, but this is basically where I just throw crap that I have no room for it, to be honest. I also kind of have my Amiibos just freaking barely fitting on this small shelf. Gonna look for something optional to put them on to display them better. On this DVD case right here, I have all of my Wii U games and my Wii games and my PS2 games. So yeah, a pretty decent amount right there as you can see. All right guys, so this is my Wii U, Wii games, PS2. Just gonna share a handful that, you know, I really enjoyed. Um, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, of course. New Super Mario U, Wind Waker HD. Um, Mario 3D World, fantastic game. Arkham Edition, fucking amazing. If you're looking for a good alternative for Mario Kart 8, I recommend Sonic and All-Star Racing. Hyrule Warriors, um, just love the Wii U. Wonderful 101, another underrated game. Bayonetta 2, fucking fantastic. Uh, Mario Maker, Pikmin 3, fell in love with Pikmin 3, fantastic game. Um, you know, got your Wii games, PS2, you got your Grand Theft Autos, of course, your all sorts of classic Wii and PS2 games here. Such a great era of games. So let's go to uh, the area where I edit now. And over in this corner, I have my computer, which is where I edit and surf the web. Next to it's an old CRT TV that I have my top loader plugged into and my Retron 5, my Wii U, and uh, my VCR. And that is my bed, which is where the magic does not happen at all. And well guys, that's it for today's 
game room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a bit on the long side, but I had fun making it. I wanted it to be really well done, so I had to make sure everything looked nice and neat. Um, yeah, so comment below. Let me know what you think, and thanks a lot again. 20k plus and growing. Uh, I would not be here if it was any for any of you guys' supports, any of my friends, Game Chasers, Alpha Mega Sin, Game Sack, Johnny Millennium, the guys on FinalBosses.com, everybody that has ever worked with me, uh, Ranting Robots, Keep the Joking Gamer, God Rest Your Soul, Michael B, the Game Genie, um, Sean Long, shoot, the list, JKB, Gaming Historian, the list goes on and on and on, guys. Um, Appreciate all, everybody. Um, too many people to thank my Patreons. Just too much to list, but I do appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to making new things and experiences happen for each and every single one of us. And yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. Peace out.